Hi, I'm Jens. In this video series, we're gonna show you how software such as apps or web applications are made. We're gonna take you through the software development journey through the eyes of a person who knows hardly anything about this. I run an online business where I basically teach people how to ski better. I use YouTube, but I also sell online courses to beginners where they can learn new tricks on skis. I'm basically an online ski instructor. I got approached by a friend who makes videos for this software company, Comerge. And he was like, Jens, you know how to explain things. Do you want to explain how software is made? And I was like, uh, maybe. Intimidated as I was, I got an idea. I run an online business with real problems that better software could fix. So through this real example of yeah, my problems in my business, I hope to teach you how good software can be made. This video focuses the ideation phase where problems and solutions will be discussed. But we touch on the next phase a bit by talking about requirements engineering and the design. But more about the following phases in the next videos. So our first step to fix my problem is to talk to someone that may know how to fix my problem. So now we schedule a Skype call with Till at Comerge and we're going to discuss my problem and possible solutions. Hey, Jan. Hello there, Till. Some customers of mine, they've been complaining. It hasn't been such a big deal, but it could be quite an improvement for next winter. That, What's that? Um, basically, on the mountain, there's not always good uh, reception on the phone, or maybe you don't have unlimited data. So they would like to be able to download it to their phones so they can watch my videos on the chairlift or on the car to the mountain or when they're standing there above a jump and then simply watch my ski tutorials. But they would, would they want to download multiple videos or do they just want to download maybe two or three? It would be cool if they could yeah, choose how many. We discussed the main problem until Till had enough information to propose a solution that could improve my customer's experience. Really be possible to get to any any of the videos and any of the courses um, before you go to the mountain, download them. Mm -hmm. And then once you're on the mountain, it should be easy to find them and play them. Yeah. And it should still, of course, be possible to also stream them if you haven't downloaded them yet. After coming to the conclusion that we need to make an app for streaming and downloading content to people's phones, Till started digging into minor problems such as what if it's windy on the mountain? It's hard to hear, maybe subtitles could be good. Or what if... They are maybe mm -hmm. wearing gloves. So maybe the buttons should be a bit larger, so they are easier to click with, with gloves or something mm -hmm. like that. Or oh, with so a nose. Just... I often click on my phone with yeah. my nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite difficult, but... <laughs> While discussing our problems, big and small, and opportunities we had to work with, like the requirements of the app was quickly emerging for what it needs to do. The Netflix mobile app, they are solving exactly the problem that you are having. We could take this as an example yeah. and take the corporate design of Stompy tutorials. And it's much easier to understand if it follows a bit the look and feel of Stompy tutorials rather than um, a Netflix. Yeah. So what we could do is we could take this as an example yeah. and take the corporate design of Stompy tutorials and prepare a little clickable prototype yeah. that uh, would mimic the behavior of the Stompy tutorials app. What technology was used to build your web, web app? Ooh, good question. You know, I told you I'm a beginner at this. I had an IT guy taking care of most things. Okay. Uh, we use PHP, okay. we use WordPress. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and within, I really got to think, this is, you see, I'm not so good at this. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, PHP is already a good, a good uh, pointer. After digging into the IT stuff, our ideation session was over. All I had to do now was to send over my corporate design and wait for two weeks for the clickable prototype.
They've just sent me the clickable prototype. Pretty excited to see this. And here it is. Oh, that's really cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. No way. This is exactly how I was picturing it. Uh, this part. However, I think it could be cool maybe if it was a little less things to click on here. And then you see the two videos. That's cool. Yeah, we'll see. I gotta think about this a little bit. We are already pretty much finished with the ideation phase thanks to the fact that we had a pretty easy problem and solution while for many it can take much longer. In the next episode we're going to look into the requirements and design phase. I'm going to look much more into detail what's going on there in the next video.